What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. In this video, we're going to talk about the best strategies to invest in meme coins, at least the strategies that I have used when investing in meme coins. And hopefully this is going to help you along your investing journey. So first and foremost, I am not solely just a meme coin investor, but I'm also not the person that is too good for meme coins, right? Because I think you have both of those camps. You have the complete DGENs that the only thing they invest in are meme coins, and they don't want any utility tokens in their portfolio. But then on the other side, you have the, I'm a Bitcoin maxi, and Bitcoin is the only thing that I can invest in, right? Or I'm only investing in the top 100 cryptos. I don't want to invest in anything other than those, right? So you have a couple different camps. I am smack dab in the middle. I am open to all the possibilities, but I want to allocate my funds accordingly. So as I've always mentioned, about 70% of my portfolio at all times is in Bitcoin and Ethereum. Now, the additional 30%, well, the world is our oyster. And a lot of that chunk happens to be in meme coins. So when investing in meme coins, here's what you need to know. You have to create a budget in which you're willing to lose let me say this another way. So you have to create a certain sum of money where you want to invest in new launches, meme coins, degen plays, and know that maybe one out of 10, two out of 10, if you're lucky, are going to be winners and the rest are probably going to be losers. Now, there's a couple different things you can do along the way. And that is, you know, have a profit taking plan like at 2x and 3x, take your initial investment out. That's good. But a lot of people only put a little bit in and they're looking for that 100x. They're looking for that 1000x, right? So if we go back to earlier this year, we had a meme coin rally. I'll tell you my story a little bit here. So I was late to Pepe actually. Now I got in at a $100 million mark cap still did pretty well because I got out at a $1.2 billion mark cap and 12 x The reason why I got in that, because it consolidated for a little bit, I decided to ape in at $100 million, which by that time, it really wasn't a degen meme, meme play, but still, a 12 x is a 12 x Now, with Dogecoin, I took some profits along the way, got in at uh, under a penny, at a penny, wrote it up to like 7 or $0.08 cents way back in 2021, 7 8x, got out. Obviously, it went to $0.70. Cents. Didn't leave any in there. So this is where I've come to the conclusion where I'll take profits, but I'll always leave a little bit in there for a moon bag. I did do that with Shiba Inu, and it boded very, very well for me back in 2021. I did that with some other meme coins of that era as well. But here's the thing you have to understand when looking at the meme coin sector. You're not going to win every trade, right? You're looking for one big hit. And if you get one big hit, it's going to outweigh all the small losses. So I like to diversify out. I like to throw my money at, you know, if we're in that kind of a meme coin run or a meme coin rally, I like to throw my money out there, maybe four or 500 bucks for me, four or 500 bucks in about 10 different cryptos. Now I know everybody can't do that. So whatever that number is for you, I like to diversify out because you're looking for one big hit. You're going to lose a lot in this sector, a lot, but that one big hit will bode well for the overall portfolio. That one big hit this year so far for me in 2023 was Bob. If you remember, that was kind of born out of the Pepe craze. We had Wojak and Bob and uh, uh, what else was there? Mong. We had a lot of different things happening all at once just a few months ago back in May. And uh, Bob was the one for me. I missed on a lot. Now, Pepe, I did okay, but I missed on a lot of the other ones, a lot of the other new ones, right, that were popping up. Just four or five hundred bucks here. Bob, I put five hundred bucks in, started to go up a little bit. I really timed it well because I got in super early. That's the thing. If you realize early on, oh my gosh, I think I got in here early. I'm up on this. Take your initial out and start and then I start to invest more. If I if I start to see the momentum building up, and I did. So I put another thousand bucks into Bob. All of a sudden I looked up and uh, I end up, you know, profiting right around twenty to twenty five thousand in Bob, which took me by storm, right? And obviously that made my meme coin year for me, right? And some people, by the way, guys, are making way more money than I am. So I'm just still like, you know, a small fish uh, in a big pot, right? Because there are people putting way more money into it. I'm just not willing to risk it all in meme coins, but I do understand that there's money to be had there, money to be made. So I allocate a certain amount and that is kind of my strategy. So hopefully this video helps. If it did, drop down below uh, a comment, 
Uh, smash the like button for us. Definitely do that. It's totally free. And subscribe to the channel. We'll see you all in the next video. Peace.